Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 90.1 CJSF on your FM dials. To all of you here at the live performance, thanks for coming out. I see you all here in the back there as well. Glad you could make it. Just remember that although CJSF has a digital streaming option, you'll have to be tuned into the actual FM radio waves in order for the audio broadcast to be synced up with the live performance. So, if you are listening to the digital stream here at the performance, let's just wait about 20 seconds for those FM waves to be converted into zeros and ones, shot up into space where they will bounce off of one of Grimes' boyfriend's new satellites and back down to an eagerly awaiting global market. Okay, that should do it. So everyone's on the same page. We're all locked into the same FM signal. And feel free to reorient your vehicle for a better signal anytime. For those of you not here in the flesh, perhaps listening at home in your simupod, or maybe commuting through a hyperloop to your shift at the world's only remaining employer, picture this. A near-perfect simulation of Vancouver, BC flickers into existence. The year is 2021, and a beautifully crafted reproduction of the historic Sky Train glides noisily across the skyline behind me. The atmosphere has a reddish-purple tint to it, which is most perceivable when looking straight into either one of the moons. That's right, I just casually inferred that there are two moons. Unusual to you, maybe, but not to me. Scattered around me, to my left, are some very convincing holographic trees, standing rigidly as if they actually have mass. As if they aren't just made of pure light. Look at those phonies. I know what you really are. And way off in the distance to my right is a place called Superstore, which was used in these times to sell people physical goods, such as canned meat or athletic socks. I live in this simulation with the rest of the population, against my will. There are only a few of us in here who know that this is a false reality. We're what they called hackers back in the 20s. You don't believe I'm a hacker? Watch this. Ah, shit, okay, come on. Okay, I got it, I got it. I got this, there. Access denied. Ah, shoot, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Access granted. Yes! For those of you listening at home, I just demonstrated a traditional computer hacking technique for the live audience. Living inside this simulated version of Vancouver from the 20s, I started to feel like it had been 2021 for as long as I could remember. And when I stopped to examine my memories of the past few years, it seemed like none of it had ever actually happened. Like someone had implanted those memories in my brain. And it seemed like there were other more real memories buried underneath. Ultimately, ultimately we can do a full uh, brain machine for the face. Um, and achieve a sort of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. But I think with um, a high bandwidth great machine interface, I think we can actually go along for the ride. Um, and we can effectively have the option of merging with AI. I think this is extremely important. Then, one night, while sleeping, I had a strange dream that told me to hack into the government's central archives. And when I did, I found some old recordings of a singer named Linda Fox. Her music made everything clear to me. It was like an artifact from another world. A world that I knew I had memories of, but I just couldn't pull them up. A more real world. And through the music of Linda Fox, the simulated world around me started to crumble 
and fall away. This is the earliest recording I could find in the archive. A song called The Big One. You are finally just skin. Linda Fox's earliest recording, a song called The Big One. And now, unfortunately, I've compromised this FM channel with Linda Fox content, so we only have a limited time on this channel before they come shut it down. Here. 
this digital sports timer should scramble their trace for about 35 minutes. Well, as I was saying, something about Linda Fox's music pushed me to further question the authenticity of the world around me. Like some coded message in the song was trying to tell me to break free from the simulated world around me. Through the music of Linda Fox, I was able to convince others that this world is not what it seems. And as her music spread, the movement began to grow. We look out at the mountains, breathing the fresh air, dream on a rascal's head. We throw out a cell phone, start a religion, dream on a rascal's head. We enter a time loop, get trapped in a I began to hack into the government archives and illegally download Linda Fox songs so that I could spread them around and help awaken people from the illusory world within which we've all become imprisoned. I would compile songs into albums and release them through the underground digital streaming platforms of the 20s like Bandcamp and SoundCloud. Eventually, the government got wise that someone was stealing tracks from the archive and they changed all their passwords. I tried everything. Secret Archives 69, lowercase a in archives. No luck. Simulation 69, with a dollar sign for the S. No luck. Government Files 69, with a zero for the O in government. Nothing worked. So, after I was locked out of the Linda Fox archive, permanently, I started to make my own music in her style. Here's an example of the first song I made under the name Copyright Linda Fox, a song called Work. It definitely wasn't labor, it was work. We had 
is private property for customers of Superstore. Oh, hi there. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Is this group authorized to be in this parking area? Oh, I'm not with any group. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, you mean these people here? Uh, yeah, they just... Uh, I'm not sure who they are. I was just waiting here for my Uber. And uh, they just started shining their lights at me. And uh, I've never seen them before in my life. So you can arrest them or... Whatever you have to do, it's, uh... Okay, I understand. Thank you. I'll go have a word with one of the vehicle operators from the group. I've realized that the authorities in this simu world are much more trusting of you in a public space if you say you're waiting for an Uber. Hang on a moment, everyone. I'm just having a little brush with the local holographic authorities. A lot of the law enforcement in this simulation aren't actually real. They're just part of the program, like code with tasers. So we have to be really careful around them. If they find out we're listening to Linda Fox, we'll be in big trouble. So hang on a sec. We just gotta just act cool. And if they come up to your car, oh, I think they're leaving. Yeah, yeah, they're leaving. There they go. Okay, great. We're back on track. So where was I? Oh, yeah. I was going to play some brand new copyright Linda Fox songs, uh, never before heard, but after that run-in with the law, I think it would be appropriate to play another Linda Fox original, a prophetic old folk song called Hollow Cops. In the year 2020, a new police force technology is initiated nationwide. These new holographic police officers turn out to be so affordable and effective. It's not long 
before there are more hollow cops on the streets than there are regular citizens. And as we walk through the streets, we wonder, how can they enforce the law when they're just made of pure light? They're just pure light. How can they enforce the just laws of our nation?
So that was Linda Fox's chilling vision of a future world where holographic police become so effective that they wipe out all of human life on Earth and become the only inhabitants of the planet. And here we are, living in a prison of pure light, unable to break free and experience true reality. But it's not so bad, because we're in here together. And because we're in here together, I'm going to play a couple brand new songs. So make sure your FM dials are locked in tight, because these next songs have never been heard by human ears. This next song is about getting high, but not on any kind of illegal drug. 
I'm talking about getting high on conspiracies. When the obvious truth is right before your eyes, and you go searching for that sweet conspiratorial hit, that is a drug I call elusive. So in the spirit of getting high, I'm gonna climb this tree behind me here. Just hold on a second. Let me get around here. Okay. And oh my. Okay. Can I get a little more light up? Yeah, thanks. Okay, I'm just gonna find a good spot that we can go. again uh yeah let me just come back down there hold on a sec okay yeah i just got it hold on okay okay if i could just find a good yeah. okay and i'll just get around here it's always easier when you're on your way up isn't it <laughs> hold on uh, okay just trying to find my other if i could just find the way it came up jump down from here. Yep. Ah. Ah, okay. Hi. Sorry about that. I was just up there uh, scanning to see if my Uber was getting close. Uh, how can I help you? I've spoken with my superiors and we've concluded that there's no reason for you to be using this property to conduct any kind of public gathering or presentation. So we're going to have to ask you and the group. I told you I'm not with any group. I'm just... Sir, we know that you're communicating with this group of vehicles here via FM radio broadcasts, and we know that this is a violation of company policy. So, I'm asking you to please state your reason for being here for an official report. Okay, you got me. Uh, I am performing some music via FM radio broadcast. 
Uh, and yeah, I don't know, I'm just trying to spread a positive message out into the world. And I just thought that... I understand that, sir, but this is not the place to do that. If you want to spread messages, there are plenty of free online streaming services that are perfectly suited for spreading positive messages and disseminating information to potential clients. So, I must ask that you leave. Oh, please, uh, come on. I just have a couple more songs to play. And, you know, there's lots of space out in the parking lot. There's no one... Um, and then I'm going, I just have a couple more songs to play, and then I'm going to let it run on pre-recorded material, so I'll get out of your hair. Sir, if you don't leave the uh, Just one more song? Just one more song. Come on, please. It's the best song I have. It's my best song. Um, and it will make a difference. It will make a difference that makes a difference, you know? Like, it will trigger the feedback loop of resistance and liberation. Something new will be introduced to the system that can transform the system itself. This is very important. Sir, if you don't leave the property now, I'll be forced to film your actions for the documentation of a violation of company policy. So please leave now or I will have no choice but to film you for the company archive which can be used against you in the future. I understand. I choose to be documented. Okay. If you fully understand that, I will be filming you and I'm free to use your image and your information yes. for any reason at all. Yep. I agree to those terms and conditions. Okay, now let's kick off the next song, a little ditty called I Tripped Out of Flux. Security, are we rolling? Rolling and action! Yeah. 
Attention citizens, attention citizens, this copyright Linda Fox performance is not authorized. Your host will now give each of you a compact disc of illegal music authorized. Your host will now give each of you a compact disc of illegal musical content. Please accept your unauthorized disc. 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 